What's going on? Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports, and I'm giving you a preview of Thursday night football between the Chiefs and the Chargers, a great AFC West matchup. Before I get into that preview, though, I'm going to break down four rumors that could drastically change this game. The first one is around Eric Berry, and I am super excited to say that Eric Berry is expecting to play. The Kansas City Chiefs safety has been out of action since the fourth quarter of the NFL kickoff game in Foxborough when the Chiefs stunned the New England Patriots to open up the 2017 NFL season. Including the wildcard playoff game against the Tennessee Titans last season, Eric Berry has missed 29 straight games. When you look at Eric Berry's just production throughout his career, there's a no doubt that he's one of the best safeties that I personally have ever seen. Five touchdowns, 14 interceptions. He's just an absolute ball hawk. But also, more importantly, he is the quarterback of that defense, and it's the reason why the Chiefs are ranked dead last against passing yards against. So with that being said, you insert Eric Berry into a defense that, well, has not been very good on probably the best offense in the NFL. So I want to know from you, are the Chiefs the best team in the NFL with a healthy Eric Berry? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Next rumor is around a running back, and it's Spencer Ware, and whether or not he's going to be able to suit up and play on Thursday night football. And when you look at Spencer Ware and just overall his injury and everything, he's got a hamstring that's kind of banged him up a little bit. He did miss Tuesday's practice, and from what it sounds like, he's got a 50-50 chance to play. Now, he was the starting running back for the Chiefs back in 2017, but he injured his knee and ended up missing the entire 2017 season. So the hamstring injury, I don't really think it has anything to do with the knee injury, but still, it's something to monitor. And if Ware is out, Damian Williams is going to be your starting running back, but Spencer Ware was great against the Baltimore Ravens defense. That's one of the best defenses in the league. 15 carries, 75 yards, but then also the production out of the backfield receiving the ball. Five catches, 54 yards, 129 total yards. After not really playing that much the week before that, he only had 14 carries. For, set for 47 yards a week before that. So you really want to talk about production? I absolutely love it. If you're going to watch this game, you might as well bet on it too because I'm telling you right now, it makes it 100 times more entertaining. Actually, it makes it 120 times more interesting. And if you're going to do it, go to chatsports.com bet and use our promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. But guess what? I got more to give you because Mitch right here, Santa Mitch, has got a nice little giveaway just for you. I've got the best deal of the year for you and even a loved one. All you got to do is to get started with our partner, BetDSI. Rudolph, he dropped a ton of brand new NFL jerseys on my desk, and I'm trying to give them away to you. All you got to do, sign up and deposit. DM at Chat Sports, and Santa Mitch will get you hooked up. We've got plenty of inventory, but these are going to go faster than Santa's sled. Again, DM us on Chat Sports, on Twitter, at Chat Sports. Shout out to BetDSI for hooking us up with the best promo code and an NFL giveaway. So, hey, chat sports, maybe you're the real Santa. All right, next rumor coming up here is around Tyreek Hill. And heck, if there's a guy who might be faster than Santa Slay, it might be Tyreek Hill. The original report that came out with Tyreek Hill after week 14 was that his heel injury was really bad and that he might not be able to play on such a short week on Thursday night football. But Adam Schefter then has reported that the injury isn't considered to be too serious and he's just day to day. Coach Andy Reid came out and said, Hill's moving right around, he's moving around okay, and he should be all right to play against the, the Chargers, but he's not going to be 100%. But then again, 100% Tyreek Hill is still a really good wide receiver. Here are his season stats, 11 receiving touchdowns, 1,258 yards, and then, of course, he's a dynamic rusher out of the backfield. He's just such a weapon for the Chiefs. But in week one versus the Chargers, he absolutely ripped them apart. Seven catches for 162 yards, two touchdowns, and probably two peace signs to add into that. When you look at both these teams, they both have two standout wide receivers. So I want to know from you, who's the better wide receiver? Which wide receiver would you rather have on your team, Keenan Allen or Tyreek Kill? So type K for Keenan or type T for Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie, Tyreek. And if you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. My next rumor is around the Chargers. So we had three Chiefs rumors, and now this one's going to be around the Chargers. And it's around their starting running back, Melvin Gordon. And is Melvin Gordon going to be able to suit up on Thursday night football after missing the last two weeks with a knee injury? From what it sounds like, even though he practiced on Tuesday, and he did get in a limited session, which is good, but I really want to see what happens today on Wednesday. Because if he can practice on Wednesday, it makes me a little bit more hopeful that he's going to be able to play. But Gordon himself said he expects to be a game-time decision. Depending on what weather's like, he might tweak something. I'm hoping Melvin suits up because if Melvin Gordon plays in this game, 
it's going to be interesting. And from what it sounds like, it could be a 50-50 split, but there's something to monitor. Austin Eckler, who is the backup running back for the Chargers, is not expected to play. When you look at overall production, there's a reason why Melvin's one of the best running backs in the NFL. 13 total touchdowns this year and over 1,200 yards in just 10 games. And week one versus the Chiefs, nine catches for 102 yards. It was super dynamic. Now the Chiefs were chair or the uh, Chargers were trailing most of that game, but then again, like who isn't, I guess, trailing against the Chiefs for most of this season? So I want to know from you, will Melvin Gordon play on Thursday Night Football? If you have him in fantasy football, I am sure you guys are crossing your fingers that he plays. So type P for play or type O for out. Will Melvin Gordon play? All right, let's recap real quick these rumors. Eric Berry, he is going to play this week. At least that's what it sounds like reported by Eric or Adam Schefter. Spencer Ware, is he going to be out? That's going to be a 50-50 game time decision. Tyreek Hill active, yes, from what it sounds like, but he's not going to be 100%. And then is Melvin Gordon going to be out? Another 50-50 game time decision. Fingers crossed, though, that all these guys play because this game is going to be awesome. So let's now take a preview look at this Week 15 matchup against the top two teams in the AFC West. you got the Chargers. They're 10-3, winners of their seven of their last eight games playing extremely solid football. Heck, they just came back and beat a really solid Steelers team, or a team that I thought was pretty solid, but they just lost to the Raiders. And the Chiefs have already clinched a playoff spot. But if the Chargers can end up beating the Chiefs, they can also clinch a playoff spot. But let's not forget, the Chiefs took care of the Chargers week one in Los Angeles, 38-28. to If you want to bet on this game, and I'm telling you you should because it's going to be a barn burner, you're going to do it at BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. And remember to use our promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. It is the best promo code on the internet. I can guarantee that. And also, it's the holiday season, so we're also giving you a little bit more. And thanks to our sponsor at BetDSI, we have the best deal on the internet right now. All you got to do is get started with our partner, BetDSI, because Rudolph, he dropped a ton of brand new NFL jerseys, the good kind, the Nike, the not knockoff brand NFL jerseys on my desk, and I'm trying to give them away to you. This is what you got to do. You got to sign up and deposit, and then DM at Chat Sports, and Santa Mitch is going to get you hooked up with the jersey of your choice. You want a Tom Brady? You want a Drew Brees? Heck, see that Patrick Mahomes, potential MVP? Get his jersey too. Shout out to Bet DSI for hooking us up with the best promo code on the internet, plus hooking up y'all with some free NFL jerseys. If we can get back in now to the comparing of the offenses, because this one is going to be one high-scoring affair, if you ask me. The Chiefs are the number one offense in total yards per game. Then you got the Chargers. They're not too far behind at sixth. Passing, rushing, both teams very dynamic in their attacks. The first downs per game I think is an interesting stat too because I think at the end of the day, this is going to be one of those Madden type games where the first downs are just going to be racked up and it's going to really realistically come down to who commits the most turnovers. But in points per game, 28.2 to 36 points per game, this game is going to be a high scoring game. I'm telling you right now. So if both offenses are good, let's see how the defenses stack up against each other. The Chargers have the better defense, and they've looked much better with Joey Bosa since he's come back. But the Chiefs, yes, they're ranked dead last against passing yards per game, and rushing yards per game is up there too. But maybe with the new, or you insert Eric Berry, the captain of that defense, maybe that helps the defense. Well, it doesn't look like he can get much worse. But also, let's remember that a lot of teams are trailing the Chiefs. And then in terms of sacks, Hey, the Chiefs, second in the NFL in sacks, are able to pin their ears back when they have the lead and really get after the quarterback. And I'm interested to see if they can get underneath Phillip Rivers' skin in obvious passing down situations due to the fact that Melvin Gordon might not be able to play. Austin Eckler's probably going to be out. So this one is going to be an interesting game. Now let's look ahead at some betting lines here. And the Chargers, 10-3, Chiefs, 11-2. The Chiefs are three and a half point favorites according to bet dsi this one opened up as chiefs three and a half point favorites and the range has kind of gone from three to three and a half so it really hasn't moved all that much and maybe if some of these players like spencer ware tyree kill melvin gordon are out that might shift the lines a little bit more but for me i would expect for these lines to stay the same and now you're talking about over under 53 points in a game over under when the first game was 38 to 28 I'm telling you right now, I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over in this game, and I encourage you guys to do it too. Heck, see that chatsports.com slash bet down there? Use the promo code LIVE120 because I'm telling you right now, take the over, get some money in your pockets, get a little extra bonus cash, why not, to do that to help you pay for some Christmas gifts. I know I'm betting on the game. If you want to know who I think is going to win this game outright, I want you to DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. 